Dimension of Control is one of our probably core surveying units in this business now. We've been involved in such a long time that uh, we feel that we've serviced the needs of the steel fabrication industry and mining industry very well. Our specialist surveyor for the Elizabeth Key Bridge it was uh, Luke Howell. Luke has uh, been very progressive in developing different methodologies and written software to enable us to tackle such a difficult and very mathematical job like this. On the face of it, the design looks pretty straightforward, but when it comes to the erection and the actual manufacture of the steel components, it actually was quite, we needed quite a precise sort of eye. Our path to this project was serendipity, I suppose you'd call it in, in a way. We were at Sivmec for another job and we were just leaving and one of the project managers who we'd worked with in the past ran up to us and said, hey, while you're here, can you have a look at this thing we've got going in the workshop? And that thing happened to be the west arch of the Elizabeth Key Bridge. We brought to the table a, a method of tying everything together between the workshop and the field from a survey point of view and it was something that they hadn't really worked out at that point. A lot of times we had a component going in on site that we had to know for sure that it was going to fit against something that was still in the workshop. A classic example was the stubs of the arch which were installed while the arch was still being fabricated and we needed to position that piece with the correct gap between it and where the arch would be when it arrived on site in a month's time from 50 kilometres away so it was a big challenge. This I knew was going to be a bit of a centrepiece of Perth and I knew if I did something wrong that I would continue to notice it for the rest of my life. It was pretty nerve-wracking waiting to see if this thing was going to drop in where I calculated it was going to go. When you're standing there and you've got the project manager, two project engineers, the project package manager and about six other subcontractors standing around, there's nowhere to hide if you've made a mistake. We didn't have to because we, we, we had that system down and, and that was the proof of it. The erection on site was also undertaken in a very unique way and the people of Perth got a chance to see that through a lot of the um, media around that event and in erection of the arches to support the deck and the installation of the cables, all very, very difficult, high risk uh, but expertly done. And I've got to say, DASH and with their subcontractors, all the subcontractors involved, including RM Surveys, we have achieved a very unique result. We worked really well with, with the engineers and the, and the project manager on the, on the project. In the end, we, we managed to pull up what was really a, quite a difficult task to bring all these components from so far away, put them together to a higher level of accuracy and stand them up exactly where they're supposed to be. And that's, I think, a testament to the hard work of not only RM surveys but also all the engineers. They did a good job on this one. It is absolutely iconic, particularly at night time with all the lighting arrangements. Uh, lighting up the archways and the deck lighting and the pulsating lights around the precinct. The popularity is beyond question.